Stuff. Any maker can probably relate to the relentless struggle of finding a space for all the tools, interesting shaped pieces of metal, random parts of old appliances, uh, well, maybe I'm just a hoarder, but the point still stands that no matter the size of your space, some level of organisation is a key part of this hobby. I built this building over a year ago now, but since then it's been constant remodelling of different parts as I better understand my own needs. But now I'm at a point where I think I shouldn't be demolishing much more of my existing space, and I'm looking to fine tune some of my storage solutions. There's a million ways I could approach this, but as you probably guessed given the thumbnail, today I'm going to be focusing on pegboards. Specifically, IKEA's proprietary SCADIS pegboard system. Unlike classic pegboard material, the IKEA system has these wide rectangular holes which allow for a much more diverse range of accessories to be fitted. And importantly for me, this makes printing parts for it possible and easy. It's a great system with one flaw of a traditional pegboard, that being that it only comes in three sizes. So instead, I'm going to create my own custom boards on my new laser cutter sent to me by Auteur. The process begins with working out some requirements. I have two boards I'd like to create, one for above the lathe and one under this shelf. On top of the basic measurements, above the lathe I would like to mount a monitor to display info while I'm turning. And under the shelves there's a power outlet that I'd like to still be usable with the board in place. With all this penciled out, I can then hop into Fusion and start designing. The real hero of this project is a parametric SCADIS maker by Line Arc Line on printables. With this, a tedious modelling process is replaced by just playing with a few numbers until I get the board sizes I want. I use the whole numbers to get close to the size I want, then adjust the borders till I'm at the exact size I'm looking for. A final step before I continue is removing these bevel features from the timeline. This generator is meant for 3D printing where you could see these features, but for laser cutting these will just mess up our path and make the holes too large. With the boards modelled to size, I then add the custom features I mentioned earlier, as well as mounting holes so I don't need to waste space like on the IKEA boards. I then export the face as an SVG file. Fusion can't export to SVG natively, so I downloaded an add-on that allowed me to do this. This allows me to turn a face into an SVG file that my laser cutter software can recognise. This was my first time ever using a laser cutter, and I found it to be refreshingly simple compared to 3D printing. The process was very intuitive and did not take much learning. There's really only two variables to keep track of. Now, obviously, yes, I should use an enclosure, and I have built one which I've used since this project, but for the sake of filming, I'm running it outside here. Watch. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Not quite as perfect as I would have liked. That's okay. In total, these boards took less than 20 minutes each to cut out. I don't know how fast this is by laser standards, but compared to 3D printing, this is lightning speed. This was a very unpleasant process, uh, much more unpleasant than it looks like here, and in the end I had to redo the whole process again because these spaces were too wide and the boards were hanging out past the power socket, which I did not like the look of. Overall I got the fit close, but not perfect. The power point in particular is a few millimetres off, but it doesn't bother me enough to recut. The buttonhole on the iPad is also not a proper circle. I'm not sure what happened here, but again, not worth redoing. But the pegboards are only half the process. I need to populate them as well if I want them to be of any use. I start with these IKEA baskets for both boards. They only cost $5, so I would only be saving a few cents by printing my own. Not worth the effort. I'm not going to do much more above the lathe right now, since I have some new tooling coming that I'd like to make holders for in the future. In the meantime, it can store these wrenches. 
This board, on the other hand, I want to use for small media gear that I frequently misplace, like batteries. Before this board, everything was just stored in this box. Some stuff is going to be going on the shelf above the pegboard, so I shortlisted a few items that would be best suited to storage on the pegboard. There are hundreds of existing designs on sites like printables, but I am choosing to design my own to have a consistent visual style across this board. But if you need a specific accessory, chances are it already exists. I'm really happy to have a laser now. I think it's the perfect companion technology for 3D printing, and I've been able to do so much I couldn't before. This project was especially satisfying, and is a good step in my quest to get properly organised. Having a specific spot for every tool really does make the whole process of making things much more pleasant, and over the next few months I hope to give pretty much every tool I use frequently its own place in the shop. I finished up by modifying one of my bench tiles to allow for a power board on the shelf above. I designed the tiles to keep stuff from falling down the back of my benches, while staying easy to modify for cables and tubes. Maybe I'll do a full video on it one day. With the cables in place I can install all my charges, as well as store some of my larger gear. <laughs> I need to get better at before and afters. Again, it's not perfect, the shelf above is slightly off and that creates a small gap, but at the height I usually view this from, I can't see it. The text here says cable board, mostly because I wanted to experiment with engraving and cutting on a single piece. It doesn't make sense, but again, oh well, it's not worth recutting. Overall, I'm really pleased with these new boards. They serve me very well, and being able to change them around as I get new gear in the future is great. Thank you again to Auteur for sending me the laser, I've been very happy with it and you will be seeing more of it in future projects. Thanks, as always, for watching.